This story that you're about to hear again is going right back to the narrative I said that the racists get younger and younger and younger. Don't think that just because their ancestry or not their ancestry, that their elders are slowly but surely leaving this earth, that they're going to just die. Is That racism is just going to die with them. It's going to continue to go on. And that brings us to this story right here of this young lady whose name is Rachel Richardson, and she plays for the Duke University volleyball team. And apparently, I think she's like the only black player on the team where she had to deal with racist taunts from this individual from the other side. Now, the crazy part about it is this person that was racially taunting her didn't even go to the school in which team she was playing against. This person, as far as I know, has no affiliation with either school. They just decided to taunt her just because. But I'm going to go ahead now and read this article coming from Raw Story. Brigham Young University announced Saturday it was extremely disheartened on Saturday following a racist incident on Friday evening. Another ugly altercation has resulted in a Utah sports fan being banned from a venue, this time at Brigham Young University. Notice it said another ugly altercation, which means there has been altercations before. And this is Utah we're talking about here, a.k.a. the Mormon state. A fan was banned from the Smith Field House and all other athletic venues on campus after they were identified by the Duke women's volleyball team for racially taunting a black player during a Cougars three to one win Friday night over the Blue Devils. The fan was seated in BYU student section, but the university said he was not a student. The player being taunted was sophomore outside hitter Rachel Richardson from Ellicott City, Maryland. I'm familiar with Ellicott City. That's about, from me, distance-wise, probably about 30 minutes going northbound. That's going towards Baltimore. Who started three matches during her first year at the school. Tweets by her godmother were cited by the Salt Lake City Tribune. My goddaughter is the only black starter for Duke's volleyball team, Lisa Pamplin wrote. While playing yesterday, she was called the N-word every time she served, Pamplin said. She was threatened by a white male that told her to watch her back going to the team bus. A police officer had to be put by their bench. Not one freaking adult did anything to protect her. I'm looking at you, BYU. You allowed this racist behavior to continue without intervening. Apologizing to her parents after the fact is not enough. She added, the incident occurred in front of a record setting volleyball crowd of 5,507 as BYU beat Duke three to one. Duke athletics director Nina King told the news and observer that Saturday's match had been moved off of BYU's campus. Following extremely unfortunate circumstances at Friday night's match at BYU, we are compelled to shift today's match against Ryder to a different location to afford both teams the safest atmosphere for competition. Look at that. They had to move their match to another location to avoid this possibly happening again. Don't ever listen to anybody say, oh, that racism is slowly but surely dying in America. It's definitely not. But shout out first off to the godmother for coming to her goddaughter's uh, uh, defense. A woman who is taking on another motherly role to this this young lady. And even though she's not blood related to her, who came in and stepped up. And I'm glad she's not on that, you know, that forgiveness tip. You know, they said you can give all the apologies you want. But you, first off, you apologize after the fact. Like, no, that's not going to fly. And who was this clown anyway? And how did they even get in there? They said this person wasn't even affiliated with the school. He just came there and just started to taunt her and called her the N-word every time she began to serve. When I heard that part, I don't know if any of you, well, I'm sure some of you or many of you have seen the movie 42. Where, of course, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace to that man, played Jackie Robinson. And it was a scene in there where every time he got up to bat, it was the coach, the coach for the opposite team that literally called him the N word the entire time. And Jackie Robinson had to stand there and take it because he already knew if he went off on him, what would have happened? And that literally threw 
him off of his game. And that was the goal that the coach was doing the entire time. And then it led to that infamous scene when he went down into the dugout, like going into that little opening and he takes the bat and slams it up against the wall, breaking it most likely wishing that he, the, that the wall was the skull of that coach that was constantly calling him the N word. But when I, when I read that, it reminded me of that scene. I'm willing to bet that she wishes that every time she served that ball, that was the head of that piece of shit that was constantly taunting her. And I'm going to just be honest. That dude, he probably is mad because he can't play a damn sport to save his life. And if he had to be on anybody's volleyball team, like for the men or whatever the case may be, they wouldn't have him serve because I'm almost cer- I'm almost certain his serve would look like that of a bitch. I'm just being completely honest. Have you noticed that a lot of these races, whenever they have the, whenever they feel the need to come at our people, especially when our people are being successful in whatever avenue it is, they're really just mad and they're just jealous because they can't achieve those levels. So they have to make our people feel bad to try to throw them off of their square. I hope this young lady goes as far as she possibly can. I don't know what her aspirations are beyond college. I don't know if she wants to go into playing volleyball professionally or maybe, I don't know, go into the Olympics. But either way, I hope she goes very far. And knowing that she's from Merlin, now she definitely gets my support. But, yeah. Like I said, these individuals, they're everywhere. This is in Utah. Like I said, the Mormon state doesn't surprise me does not surprise me in the least bit. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I post. As you all know, my videos are in a premiere style. So if the bell doesn't work, just click the little notify me button right there in the corner of the thumbnail, and you should get the notification that way. The links will be down in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.